Hello, I saw you there ever since I put up the camera. So this video won't be a usual video for me, but that goes for most videos, so it might be usual. That's for you to decide. Let me know in the comments. Thing is, today I'm not actually making something, but I'm also making something. This is more in the realm of tabletop role-playing games, which I thoroughly enjoy. There are some links in the description you can check out. But today I'm going to show you how I'm making a phylactery. In most role-playing games there are undead creatures like skeletons and zombies and there's also the lich, which is the, the epitome of undeath because they're smart and cunning and have all the time in the world. They're really powerful undead spellcaster and all that jazz, unless they enjoy classical music which would fit more into their evil theme, but I wanted to make this quick. Part of their mechanic is that they have a box where they kind of keep their soul in or some anchor to reality. It's a bit of a horcrux really, but it's called a phylactery. And in order to destroy a lich, you have to destroy their phylactery and find it first. In our campaigns, we have faced a couple of liches over many years and I usually like to make the phylactery something special. There will be pyrotechnics. S small scale, not boom, but... My party is coming up on a lich and I thought I'd show you how I set these up. What I'm using is not really professional pyrotechnics, but there might be regulations regarding the items I use where you live. Make sure to check your local laws before you decide to end a lich. Steel wool, generally used for cleaning and buffing purposes. This provides the base, some padding and gives a slow yet beautiful burn. Some products come coated with a cleaning agent, do not use those. Pure steel is what you want. The thinner the strands, the better. Flash paper, which is paper that has been treated chemically to go up in smoke in a flash. There are recipes online, but I recommend buying it for comfort and safety reasons. My flash paper is a little older and does not flash as well as it used to. But undead tend to be a little stuffy anyway. You can also write on it, which is a bonus if you want to make it look authentic. Flash fuse. Basically the same as the paper, but as a thread. This is nowhere near as quick or dangerous as professional fuses, but it gets the job done to carry a tune. Uh, I mean a flame. Without a bucket. Flash cotton. Which can be used for fireball effects and the likes. Is treated cotton that, like the other items dubbed flash, will go up in one. Here is an example of what this will look like. I use a tile as a fireproof surface and we will light the proper phylactery outside on cobblestones. Also, I know the box I use won't catch on fire. Too little contact, too little time. Still, keep water and or a fire blanket on hand. I hope this gave you ideas, the good kind. Always use common sense around fire and flammable things. Are they sponsoring you too? Who? Common sense. They sponsored a recent episode of our podcast. Uh, no. I use them because it's the sensible thing to do. Good pitch. Uh, thanks, I guess. Apologies for the poor image quality, but fire is notoriously difficult to film. Also, it was dark outside. As for this phylactery, I don't know whether my players watch my videos, because otherwise I could tell you that it was all a ruse and the real one was hidden directly in